need to make sure that our timing is on that last line of text when possible. This particular one, the, the one that says mid shot floor level, it's going to go a little longer than that, but that's just because you've got more description. This one we need to move it down. Let's see, this one we need to move it down one. And this one a couple. And this one. Now, it's not a good idea to let a scene break across the page like this one does. Uh, there's several ways you could um, try to clean this up a bit. Um, one easy way to do this is I'm going to do uh, select all under edit, select all, and then I can go in and I can actually um, change my margins. I can click on layout and I can click on margins and I could change my right now it's on one and see your left margin and your right margin are 125 which is really too much so I'm going to go down up here to click normal and it's going to increase my margins a little bit and now I can click on um, I click on the edge of my uh, table here. A little hanging, there's a little button right here. If you hold your cursor, you can click on it there. And I can um, distribute this more evenly. And I can click pick auto fix to window. And now it's going to stretch it out and keep my same uh, formatting. So here the first cell, I need to adjust that a little bit. It now goes below it. So see, it's shifted. It's made everything have more room. So um, I may need to adjust. So I need to take this one and move it back up one. It's bled over a little bit to the next page. I can adjust it to get it all on one page. If I go back and double click in my header and I get rid of one of those extra lines that I put in there, and now it's all cleanly on one page. Uh, I need to go up here and delete this one more row. And now it looks pretty good. Now you want to do a, a, a spell check and you want to go ahead and do all that, but I'm going to go ahead and save this. And always remember where you put it. So I want this to be back in my multimedia production folder. And I want it in my scripts folder. And I'm going to say video script demo. All right. So that is all that you have to do to create tabs, uh, decimal tabs, hanging indents, uh, and a table to create your scripts in for your projects, not only in this class, but in future classes, and also even in other types of writing projects.